Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, currently 10, 25 in the morning. And we just picked up, you guessed it, the order for the Pot Belly Kids. Now, it's fairly big actually, just like last week. Now, last week they gave me 30 bucks and I was not expecting 30 bucks. And I don't want to get used to expecting that. So I'm going to go with, maybe we'll get 20 like we did a lot, uh, you know, like we normally do actually, 20 bucks. Um, but the order is pretty big. So we'll see. Again, this is an every Tuesday thing. And honestly, the fact that these schools are even tipping, are, it's kind of rare. Because I feel like more schools don't really tip. You know what I mean? So, and it's low mileage every single Tuesday. It's a nice way to start the day. And on top of that, she, uh, the manager told me, hey, we have another order here for $20. If you want to take that to be there at 1120. I'm not sure where there is, but... I'm like, yeah, sure, 20 bucks, no problems. But she already knows, you know, what I don't I don't like going to hospitals or like, you know, elementary schools and whatnot. This is kind of different. This is more like a, I don't even know what you call this, like a, you know, early learning facility. I don't know. But anyways, worst case scenario here, we're going to have 40 bucks to start off the day, which is awesome. You know, we. I wish every day I could say, yeah, man, I got some catering lined up. Wouldn't that be great every single day? Um, but Tuesdays are that day for me here. Shout out to Pop Belly. But yeah, so anyways, let me get this dropped off and then we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we got the order dropped off and it was 20 bucks. See, 20 bucks. So I didn't want to get my hopes up again with 30 bucks all the time because that was the first time I've ever done that, you know? So 20 bucks to me, it's fine. I know what you're probably thinking because the subtotal was $612. You know what I did see? They had a $29 delivery fee and it clearly states this is not a tip. So on top of that, they're tipping. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. Again, I'm not mad about it. I know what I'm getting up front. I took it. I see it. it to me, it's no different than taking an order knowing that I'm going to get $20 guaranteed. Minimum. You know what I mean? If it's more, cool, but rare. Rare. Anyways, they're making their way back here towards the town center because we got to give them the check. Pick up the next order from uh, for them. And then we'll see you guys back in the Dashmobile. Let's go. Okay, guys. We're back on the road in the Dashmobile. We got... 20 bucks from the old order, 20 bucks from the new one, so 40 bucks in the books. The order is fairly small. Now, the only hiccup that I see with this order is that it's going to the new Google building, which access is kind of hard, um, and she put the address as the garage, so I'm probably going to call her when I'm a lot closer just to make sure where I'm going, all that good stuff. I haven't turned my dash on just yet. I'm probably going to turn it on as I'm pulling up to the uh to the drop off so i you know i'll be able to decline or accept whatever at that point so we'll see how it goes anyways we're having a great start to our tuesday 40 bucks already let's go all right guys we got the order dropped off it was actually super super simple because you know the lady she's a big boss so she basically gave the clearance for me to park in the little area where you can't park and the guy said oh oh it's for her okay no problem so you know she got the power so anyways we dropped it off and now we are dashing it's 11.15 in the morning, $40 in the books. Let's go. We'll see you guys on our first official order. Okay, guys, so they're dropping off the order here from Pop Belly. We drove all the way back to the town center. Nothing but trash. I'm like, what is going on? You know? Uh, and then we got this order here from Sweet Green. Of course, I took it because I know Sweet Green is always ready. 7.50, 3.3 miles. So not the best offer you could probably take during lunch, but definitely not bad. And I wanted to just do something because, again, we've been sitting for a while. And they stacked the additional $6 for like two miles, I think, from Pollo, Peru. So we just picked up the order here from Sweet Green. We're making our way towards Pollo, Peru. And after this, we're going to be in the mid-50s. Let's go. All right, guys. We got the orders picked up here. We're both ready from Pop Belly and from Sweet Green. Pop Belly. From Pollo, Peru. I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about Pop Belly here, clearly. But anyways, we're both ready now. We're making our way towards the first drop-off. We're only eight minutes away. Hopefully, after this, it picks up because it feels really slow for whatever reason. I mean... It just takes one good order to change your shift, so I'm not really tripping. Um, but I thought it would be a little busier, you know what I mean? So, anyways, let me get these two dropped off, and then we'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys, we got both orders dropped off. The first one became $8.33, and the second one was $6, so instead of $6. So, overall, I think it was $14.33 between the two, so now we're sitting at $54.33. Shout out to Poppy for keeping us afloat. It's pretty slow today. Um, and, you know, I got to take screenshots of everything now because of the uh, the glitch here. It's still happening with the earnings. Um, I can't believe they haven't fixed it. It's been at least, what, four or five days now where, where, you know, you can't see your earnings. At least I can't. And I think lots of people still can't. So I don't know what's up with that. And I think it's the same iOS or Android. It still doesn't work. 
Um, so that's, that's pretty crazy. Speaking of the DoorDash app glitching, have you guys seen that some people are getting Top Dasher even though they don't have Top Dasher metrics? You know, I have a great example. My good friend, Kyle here from Texas, he said he's a Top Dasher now. And I know for a fact, he doesn't have that acceptance rating. Um, and you know, he brought up a good point. He was like, what if they what if, what if, if they give this to everybody in my area? Now, everyone's a Top Dasher. You know what I mean? Which is, which is crazy. So then everyone could just dash now all the time. So then how would that affect everything you know so i don't know wow anyways it's 11 55 in the morning we're making our way back here towards the town center let me know if you're the top dasher now because the app is glitching and if so are you taking advantage of it is it even working what's going on but again yeah the app hasn't been this glitchy in a while you know typically i mean DoorDash isn't the best at fixing things but i feel like they like to you know do like a quick fix for now and then you know break later or whatever you know but I, I don't know what's up with this glitch. It's been it's been around for you know for at least a, a, almost a whole week now, you know, which is pretty crazy. So, anyways, we're getting some bad orders here. Nothing nothing great. I mean, I'm just declining some bad offers, low paying stacks, a lot of low paying stacks. You know, I think that's that's just new new trend of like stacking offers, like bad ones with decent ones, and then you know you might get tricked and taking a bad order and whatnot. So I don't know. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next order. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm trying to block out the glare real quick. We have our next order here from Kava, 950 for the payout. I think it's going like almost five miles, but the miles are not right. I feel like something, something is off, not by a lot, but if you look at the map, it has like a little extra loop around the Kava for no reason. So anyways, we picked it up. The order is over $86 worth of food, but not over, but around $86 worth of food. Took a screenshot of that. And it was ready. So hopefully we get a little extra on top. Uh, I think it's going to an office building. It says to call when I get there. So we shall do that. Anyways, we'll see you guys back on the road. Guys, we got the order dropped off and it became 1315. So it was totally worth it. And the lady was waiting for me outside. Even better because it's like a huge, huge building. Um, she, didn't need, she didn't have a suite number or anything, but she was already there waiting for me. So that's always nice. Currently uh, 1219 in the afternoon. And we are sitting around almost $70, I think, you know, so, hey, baby stepping into $100. Let's go. Guys, we just picked up our next set of orders here for the Mellow Mushroom and Quick Way Japanese Hibachi. I rarely ever get good orders from that place because typically it's always like $5 or below. No joke. No joke. But this one was paying $11, 2.9 miles. And the best part is. It's two different customers, but it's going to the Amazon building. I'm not really expecting it to move, to be honest, from the $11 that is shown. Uh, is it 11 bucks or 11 50 I can't remember, but I know that it was 2.9 miles away. I know that much. Uh, regardless, if it goes up, cool. And if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Two easy drop-offs here going to the Amazon building. Um, so hopefully after this, you know, we get more orders. Because, you know, we're about to go into the slow times in a little bit. It's 12.30 right now. So we still got some time here left before it gets slow but you know try to maximize my time let's go Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys some of the garbage that I'm also getting while driving. Uh, so the order ended up being $11, as you saw. Then we declined a couple of bad orders, and I actually didn't even screenshot all of them. I forgot to, to be honest. Uh, and then we got this one right here from Chipotle, $6.75. I think it's like 2.5 miles, maybe? Less than three, though. So we jumped on it. Why not? Got to keep the bull moving because, you know, it's going to be 1 o'clock real soon. It's already 12.50, so... Luckily, the food was ready. Now, we're only four minutes away, so we're baby stepping into $100. After this, we should be in the mid-80s. Let's go. Guys, we got the order dropped off from Chipotle. It was just $6.75 like it was shown. Then they got this order right here, and honestly, I'm taking it because, you know, it's basically already the slow times, okay? It's uh, showing $11.75 for the payout. And uh, let me see, let me pull it up right here before I forget. $11.75, six items, 6.8 miles. So $1.73 a mile, courtesy of the DUH app. Um, but I mainly took it because it's only one drop-off. It's going to the same place, two different merchants, um, you know, double digits, cash flow. 
but honestly, mainly because I know it's about to be slow, and there's always a possibility that it goes up, and it's not really leaving me in the middle of nowhere, there's a couple of restaurants close by there, so we could catch something on the way back, I'm just hoping that the food, uh, the food's ready, you know, at both places, which I think, I think it should be, because it says here, hold on, delivery by 138, when they gave me the order, it was like 107, by the time I get to the first restaurant, it'll be like 112, and the next one probably like 115. So in theory, assuming both orders are ready, we should do this fairly quickly. Hopefully, hopefully. But you know, worst case scenario, we'll get 11.75. It'll put us one step closer to 200, to 200. I wish to 100 dollars. I think right now we are currently sitting at 85 bucks. So yeah, so even if we don't get anything on top, we'll be around 95. Well, not 96 because 11, 11.75. So yeah, I'm pretty confident that maybe it'll put us even over the $100 milestone, you know, so we'll see what happens. Small calculator risk. So I think we should be okay. Let's go. All right, guys, we got both orders picked up. We got both of them picked up early because we were early at both restaurants. So that should work out great. We're actually going to be there like nine minutes early. The original delivery by time was 138. We're going to be there by 129. And it is a handed to me. So maybe we get some cash tips. Who knows? It happened yesterday. And I had no idea, uh, you know, that, that was going to happen. Like, I, I wasn't even thinking about that yesterday. And then it just happened. And I was like, whoa, cash tips still exist. Shout out to that customer. Now we're only six minutes away. Let's go. All right, guys. So when I got to the uh, drop off, I didn't realize they have very specific instructions. And it was like, ring the doorbell twice. Don't leave it there. I'm, I'm bedridden, right? So I'm like, okay, you know, clearly a handicapped person. I understand, you know. So I rang the doorbell twice, but it just had a, a um, she had a, like a little sign on her door, like, oh, you know, please bring items inside. And I was like, ooh, you know, that's, that's so tricky because, you know, people can always make up something and whatnot. But I mean, I think she would have asked me to bring something inside or maybe she couldn't bend down or something. I would have done it. Um, but I think that's like a case by case thing, you know what I mean? But she actually had a, a caretaker, so the caretaker came to the door, got the orders, and then actually went up from 11.50 to I think 12.25, if I'm not mistaken. So right now we're sitting at $97 with 73 cents and it's 131. So I think the order uh, worked out great. Now we're making our drive back here towards the town center, but we're gonna pass a bunch of restaurants like Finta, Chick-fil-A, uh, Baja, not, not Baja Fresh, uh, California Tortilla, Glory Days. So plenty of places that can, you know, give us an order. So hopefully we'll get something and we'll see you guys on the next one. Well, also before that, let me know, would you have, would you have done it? Would you have gone into a lady's house if she asked you to, you know, considering everything I said that she, you know, she's clearly, clearly handicapped, bedridden and whatnot. Would you have done it? Let me know in the comments. We'll see you guys soon. Alrighty, guys. So it's currently 2 o'clock and DoorDash ended my shift. I'm like, you know what? Why not? Let me just get some food real quick. We picked up another shift here at 2.30, so we're going to enjoy this. We're sitting at 97.73, I think. So we'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys. It's currently 2.27. So around 2.15 or so, we got back on. Uh, I was still eating, but I was taking my time. I was just chilling, uh, you know, enjoying my food. And even though the Italian uh, sub here at Pie Belly is pretty good, it's not as good as Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's is a far superior sub place. It just happens to be further down the road. Anyways, so when I was still sitting there, I turned my dash back on. We got this order here from Chipotle, $5, 1.1 miles. And it's funny how the brain works. Like, I'm like, man, five bucks? Like, I just, I, in my mind, I'm like, it's not enough. But at the same time, I'm like, it's also two o'clock and it's slow. So I accepted the order. And then right away, I mean, instantly, we get this order here from Potbelly, $5.75, an additional two miles i think but like, you know what i'm already sitting here in pot belly why not i'm surprised DoorDash i shouldn't try to stack that you know together um to save a dollar i mean technically they're still saving a dollar i'm guessing since it's a stack but i'm surprised it didn't you know it didn't show up as a, as a stack um i think i would have taken it also but anyways now after this we're going to be over the 100 threshold let's go but now i'm just again two to five crucial crucial time in the dash you gotta stay as busy as possible to make sure that you know dinner's just cherry on top. You know what I mean? So hopefully we can make that happen. Uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we got both orders dropped off. It ended up being eleven twenty-five. I think I said five dollars earlier. I meant to say five fifty, but overall eleven twenty-five, like three point one miles. Totally worth it. It ended up becoming like a really good order. Like I said, I'm surprised DoorDash didn't stack it initially, like all together. You know, but we got that dropped off. 
we're over the $100 threshold. Then we got this order right here, 625, 2.8 miles from True Food Kitchen. We're actually about to drop it off. The food was ready, so let's keep it going, doing this low times. We'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, so we got the order dropped off, and as I was dropping it off, my dash ended. So if you look at my screenshot, it's like a mixture of like the other screen coming on, giving me the total for the entire dash, and then my payout, which was $7.75. So that's what looks a little bit funky. So I'm kind of tired of DoorDash playing these games. They're basically, um, I think that the term that most people use, they're like background pause you, which means that they make it seem like you've declined and not resume your dash, even though you have, to end your dash. And that's what just happened. So I don't know what's up with that. So that's kind of, that's kind of annoying, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. And now I cannot get back on to a four and it's 303. So that sucks. Hopefully we can um, get back on somehow. I'm gonna keep refreshing the scheduling page, um, see if anything changes there, or just, you know, go back to hopefully maybe it becomes red and we can dash now. If not, then this is gonna be an hour that, you know, it is what it is, um, kind of dead in the water kind of thing. But I mean, we do have Grubhub running on the background always, yet I never get anything worth taking. So who knows, maybe, maybe today will be the day where Grubhub carries me for a little bit. Has it happening in a while, it's been a while. So who knows? Anyways, I think I've shown you guys before, like my, my area and Grubhub, it looks like a little shrimp. It looks so weird, like a little shrimp, you see that? So I don't know. Anyways, we're online, you know, way to take offers. So are we gonna get something? Who knows? Can we get back on the DoorDash? Who knows? But I think uh, even with this, oh, there it is, 3.30 to four, okay, cool. So we can actually um, adjust that right there. Hold on, is it gonna let me? Okay, cool. Yep, it let me. Cool. So now we can we can get we can get we can get on at three fifteen. It's three oh five right now. So basically, that just means uh, ten minutes of basically not doing anything unless the map is red, which it is. Look at that. Just like that, it became very busy. So we're gonna get back on now. So Grubhub is still running in the background. You never know what could happen there. But hey, we're back on. We're back on. So DoorDash plays these games for no reason. Oh, of course they give me an order after I pass the restaurant. Oh, never mind. You know what? It's actually not even that good. 525. I thought it said 825. It was a five. So we got to be careful with that. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next order. Guys, we were heading back to the town center when, first of all, well, before that, I just realized we just passed 2,700 subs on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for making that happen. We're baby stepping it to 3,000 subs real soon, perhaps by Halloween. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe sooner. I don't know. All I know is that I'm incredibly uh, thankful for everyone, uh, uh, all the comments, the likes, the dislikes, everything. Anyways, we have our next order here from Total Wine showing 10.75, 5.6 miles. Not the best offer out there, but it's slow. It's slow. Because all the other offers that were coming in, garbage, absolute garbage. It's only one case of like Angry Orchard, I think. So we should be able to find this fairly quickly. And it's not leaving me in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of restaurants where the, the drop off is. So we can probably get something on the way back or something around that area. Anyways, again, this is the slow times. During the slow times, you gotta adjust, you know? And that this is me adjusting, literally. Like I took a 550 order, a 575, a 1075. Um, you know, that I know the greatest, but today, this Tuesday is not that busy. And most Tuesdays aren't, aren't that busy to begin with. If you think about it, if I take out the orders from Pop Belly, we are having a rough day. A rough day. Just saying. I'm just saying. So I'm thankful that, you know, Pop Belly was there. Um, because if not, it would be, you know, a rough day. Anyways, we're pulling up here to um, Total Wine. And we'll see you guys back on the road. Okay, guys. Quick update. Quick update. It is actually 5 o'clock. Um, so it's been, you know, a little bit since we last checked in here with each other. And the reason why that is is because I remembered that I was recording a lot during the slow times. And I didn't want the video to be really, really long. So after dropping the order off from Total Wine, which is super easy, by the way, uh, we got an order here from, on the scroll here. Uh, I got a lot of garbage that I'm going to put at some point in one of these videos. We got this order here from Meza Mediterranean Grill, 625, five items, 2.9 miles. Now, warning, okay? I'm going to give you a little warning. If you, if you, you know have like a weak stomach or you're eating or whatever. I want to look away, skip a little bit, skip 30 seconds, whatever. I don't know. But I went to the bathroom, right? To wash my hands. That's all, that's all I wanted to do. And this is what the sink, the sink looked like. It looked disgusting. 
I walked right out. So I walked in, walked right out. I told the, the cashier, she didn't even care. She's like, oh, you know, we know about it. I'm like, you know, close the bathroom. Like, at least, you know, don't let people use it. You know, it looked absolutely disgusting, which I don't know what happened or someone threw up or what. But anyways, we did a little bit of waiting there because they were really behind. Meza isn't really fast, but, you know, it was slow, whatever. The order actually ended up paying $7.75. So, you know, a little, a little hidden tip action there. Then after doing that, we got more garbage, but... We got this order here from Outback, which was one item, 2.4 miles, 6.75. I'm like, this is a no-brainer. It was like a ribeye. So I'm like, it could be more, but maybe it, it might not. I mean, you know, it's just one, it was just one ribeye, right? So we dropped it off and then actually stayed at 6.75, which is no surprise, like I said, it was just one ribeye. Then after doing that, we got dropped off our latest order here from Chipotle, four items, 2.3 miles into this new building that's slowly becoming one of my favorite buildings because they just have like a little takeout table or whatever people just you know put the uh put the orders there you don't have to go to the apartment or anything like that so that's always nice and that leads us to our latest order oh and by the way that order became 1050 from 7 to 1050 that's a nice little hidden tip action right there and then after that we have a recurring order here for rest and kebab that you know they used to be in my blacklist and they've they're, they have slowly moved out so now they're they're you know we're we have a good relationship right now they're in my good graces paying 625 two items 1.9 miles we're basically already there hopefully it's ready so that was a lot to digest but now we are currently sitting at let me see if i'm not mistaken here 152 dollars with 48 cents and we got two and a half hours left of dash time so you know 250 i think i said 250 there's no way we're doing that unless we get nothing but bangers um but if we can do 200 at least 200 i'll be you know i'll be i'll be happy with that but yeah so that was a little long recap hopefully all of that made sense um but yeah anyways let me get this picked up here at wrestling kebab hopefully it's ready and we'll see you guys back on the road let's go guys just when i was giving wrestling kebab such high praise the food was not ready did a little bit of waiting it's all good no big deal and now it looks like the glitch with the earnings is gone but i'm still going to screenshot everything for today just because i'm already getting used to it but you know starting tomorrow hope when before i dash i'm going to check it to make sure that i can look at the uh, look at the earnings and if you know everything is good then you know we can go back to the usual because taking all the screenshots man my folder is full of screenshots of Bad orders and payouts, <laughs> you know. Um, anyways, we got the food picked up. Now we're making our way here towards the drop off. We're really close, actually, like extremely close. We're four minutes away, 1.5 miles. And I think everybody's having a slow Tuesday. I mean, people on the Discord. I think I've seen a couple people upload tick, not TikToks, shorts on YouTube about how slow it is today. So maybe it's just slow all around. So, you know, it's one of those days where, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, let me get this dropped off and then we'll see you guys back on the road. So we got the order dropped off here from Rest and Kebab. It became $7.25, I think. And then we got this one right here from McDonald's. Typically, I don't really go to McDonald's at this time during, you know, at this time of the day, but it's a good order, $6.25. The items are kind of irrelevant because it's McDonald's, but 2.6 miles, I'm literally two minutes away from McDonald's. I'm really hoping the food's ready because the order that I got before this one was trash. Like, you know, high mileage, low payouts. You know what definitely died in my area? Shop and delivery orders. No more Target, no more Safeway. And the ones that are coming through are bad, like super low pay. So yeah, that honeymoon phase is over, you know? So it is what it is, no worries. I'm sure maybe they'll come back at some point. I don't know. I got one randomly the other day, like during breakfast, that was okay, you know? But typically I, I was getting a, I was getting some during like, you know, the slow times or maybe like right now. But lately, nothing, crickets, you know? So maybe DoorDash had like a promotion or something. They were trying to run with customers. And, you know, maybe it's over now, which that, that would kind of make sense. Because I feel like, you know, a lot of customers probably like, okay, we, we can get this for free or whatever. Then I'll use it, you know? I don't know. Anyways, let me know if in your area that, you know, shop and delivery orders are still popping. They were never popping or they just came back or what's going on or it's slow. I don't know. Anyways, we're pulling into the McDonald's right now. Let me get this picked up, and then we'll see you guys back on the dashboard. Let's All right, go. guys, you can see the golden arches right there. We just left the food. 
was ready. I don't know if it's going to be loud or not. It's a guy uh, using a leaf blower. But we're five minutes away, 1.5 miles. And that's exactly what I was hoping for. In and out, quick, 625 or more. Or more, baby stepping into $200. Let's go. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off. And the best part about this order is that we got it done in like 12 minutes or less. Now, it was just 625. I could have told you that. It was a small order. It's McDonald's. I wasn't expecting it to move. Um, now, it's 5. 44 in the afternoon and i got this order here like a, like a minute ago before i started recording uh from bonchon i i didn't take it let me tell you why okay because of what the items are it's just small like single items it's like a four piece some rice and i think some veggies now if it would have been more items or maybe like family style food then i might have taken it because it's going like seven miles for eleven dollars uh, so it's not like terrible or anything but i just think for the amount of items I don't think it's gonna move from that, you know. It could, but I don't think it is. So we declined that. Now we're driving here uh, to the town center, taking the scenic route, if you will. We're gonna pass Bonchon, Total Wine, McDonald's, Family. We're gonna pass a bunch of restaurants in the hopes of getting something. So I'm trying not to park, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, definitely a slow Tuesday for sure. So shout out to Pop Belly. Um, I've said it before, you guys can uh, try and build relationships with your merchants that do a lot of catering that don't wanna pay these fees. You know, or at least they have the ability to dispatch their own drivers because I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. I mean, they also get orders through DoorDash and stuff like that. And I think those, they have to just dispatch them, at, you know, at will. But from from what she told me is they get orders from their own website and DoorDash and they have the option of, of having DoorDash fulfill it or they, or they can fulfill the order on their own. You know, so I'm assuming they, 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 they choose the first option for them to do it. And by them, meaning me, uh, so they don't pay any fees or whatever. I mean, they could be wrong, but that's just kind of kind of what I know, like the gist of it. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, we're baby stepping in here to two hundred dollars. Hopefully, we can make that happen. If not more by seven thirty, we still got basically an hour, almost really a little under two hours. That's it. guys. We have our next order. We just picked it up from Ginger Ramen, showing six twenty-five. I think like two point six miles, maybe. The main reason why I took the order was because of the delivery by time. It needs to be delivered by 6.09. When I got the order, it was already 5.55. When I picked it up, it was like 5.58. Food was ready, you know, and that's, to me, that's an indication of the food being ready or not. All the other orders I was getting, um, you know, delivery by 6.30, 6.40, 6.35, like all this like later times, which could mean that the food is already, I mean, it's not 100%, but that's just kind of like the logic that I use. So look at this order here that I didn't take. Then I took a screenshot. From Uncle Julio's delivery by 624 and I got it at 550. Two items, 7.3 miles for 575. I mean, I wouldn't take it regardless because the pay is so low, but you know, I feel like I would get there and the food still wouldn't be ready. You know what I mean? So that's when this one came in. Three items, 2.4 miles, 625. I'm like, you know what? Why not? You know, we're basically uh baby stepping in here to two hundred dollars, and it's gonna keep me in my little area, so I don't I'm not like you know, going three, four miles away just for 625. And this could be more, you know. So hopefully it works out. Hopefully they're there because, again, I've never been to this building before and it is like, handed to me. Um, so we'll see what happens and we'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so we got the order picked up here from Ginger Ramen and it went from 625 to 1025. So shout out to the lady. Nice hidden tip. Funny story though, okay. So I, I mean, when I got there, she was already waiting for me outside. She was on the phone with someone um, and I'm not sure where she was from. Um, but you know, she was speaking Spanish. Uh, she, she was, her, she had a very uh, light skin complexion. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and her accent could have been Colombian, Venezuela, and one of them too, maybe. I mean, I could be wrong, I'm not an expert, but I've heard enough people talk Spanish from those countries that, you know, Colombians have a certain accent, Venezuelans have a certain accent, you know. And I think she assumed that I was not Hispanic. I think she thought I was Asian, which has happened multiple times. You know, even in high school, people thought I was like Filipino or like Hawaiian, Samoan, you know, you name it. I've probably been called that, you know, uh, which never bothered me because, you know, it is what it is. People can guess, you know. Um, but yeah, so she was telling her friend in Spanish, literally like, oh, I've been waiting for a long time. You know, it took forever, you know, so I thought she was going to like, you know, not yell at me, but kind of like, oh, you know, about time. When I got there, she goes, thank you so much. You got, you got here super fast. Very, thank you. She was super thankful. And I'm just like, what? I just literally heard you say you've been waiting for forever. But I think that's more on DoorDash because if they were to show the true payout, she wouldn't have waited that long. Who wouldn't do a 1025 
or like 2.4 miles. Anyways, we're pulling into our Robex, which is our next order, 625. Um, I forget the mileage, but I think it's like 2 point something miles, maybe a little bit more. I think, I think. Hopefully, it's ready. But Robex, typically, it's always ready. Pickup time, 620. It's 617. So, hopefully, after this, we get more orders. Let's go. Okay, guys, it's a little bit windy, but hopefully, you can hear me okay. So, we got the order dropped off from Robex. It became 725. And then we got this order here from my home Thai Bistro showing 650. I think it's like 2.3 miles. Um, hopefully it's ready. But yeah, we're baby stepping it today for sure. No, no bangers, at least not yet. You know, but running out of time, it's already 6.41. So hopefully we can do, you know, a couple more orders, maybe two or three before 7.30. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we get the last order dropped off here for my home type beef store. Now we're sitting at 189 with 98 cents and it's 6.55 in the afternoon. And then we got this order here from a merchant I actually avoid. Because every time I go here, the wait's just incredibly long. But I really couldn't pass up on the order. It's paying $13.25 stacked offers, two items, 3.8 miles from Crumble Cookies. Now, Crumble Cookies, has, for me, somewhat, not for me, but yeah, in my opinion, the most outrageous packaging ever. Like, it's super long and super big for, like, no reason. You know, so hopefully um, it's ready, but I doubt it. I saw there's a line, and then the app is messing up so there's that so i'm probably gonna restart my phone and see what's going on here because it won't let me say that i've arrived at the store so that's kind of annoying anyways let me uh figure this out and then we'll see you guys we're back on the road let's go guys we got the orders picked up here from crumble cookies let me tell you they have like an army of people working back there i saw like at least six people working in the back almost like jersey mike's type you know and I was looking at the prices. Now, I've never been a big crumble cookie fan. I'm not really a cookie person. One cookie, four sixty-eight. I mean, it's it's big, but almost. And then you got to add the tax. It's basically five dollars for one cookie. Wow, and they're popping in there. You know, it wasn't the only dasher, but luckily both orders were ready fairly quickly. Did a little bit of waiting. It's seven away right now, so these are going to be our last orders of the day. But it's going to get us over to the. $200 hump so any day we can make more than 200 is a good day um, so yeah let me get these two dropped off and then we'll go over the numbers let's go guys we got both orders dropped off here from crumble cookies and it went from $13.25 to almost $20 so we're gonna finish the dash here at $209 with 73 cents let's go even though you know we wanted to hit 250 at least you know it's it was, it was a slower day still I'm still happy with the way it turned out. Again, I've said it multiple times. Anytime we can make more than $200 a day, it's a great day. We were only online for like not even eight hours. So, you know, it's not even like we had like a super long day or anything like that. But I'm not gonna lie, I do feel pretty tired. I think doing a lot of the smaller deliveries definitely takes a, you know, smaller toll. Um, but you know, it's one of those days, it's gonna happen. You know, again, the goal is $4,000 by the end of the month. We're gonna get there anyways. Thank you guys so much for coming along in today's video. Thank you for helping me reach 2,700 subscribers here on YouTube. Absolutely mind-blowing. So thank you guys so much. Man, be safe, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.